funny Looney Tunes comedy hour. Starring that Oscar-winning rabbit, Bugs Bunny. I'm asking you to ask him to do some work. Uh, you need to ask him to go do something. He's, he's fine. He's yeah, developing his hand-eye coordination. Oh, what do you want? Hand-eye coordination. Well, look yeah. at James. James is sitting there reading, doing homework. At least he's bettering himself. I'm asking you to, like, just let him go. It's too so cool. go outside. What's he going to do? Well, ask him to do some chores or something. I do what chores. I asked him to do some have you seen his room big. It is not going to take him 10 minutes to clean that up. It's yeah. fine. Also, Scott, what is the problem? Where 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 is the probl
Here's uh, ten dollars for all your hard work. Hey, uh, I know you do Vince's homework sometimes. Well, you have to, to if he's ever going to get to the sixth grade. But um, you know, Vince needs to learn to do things on his own. You, you understand. You're special, James. Uh, you're going to go far. But well, uh, Vince. Vince is an idiot, but we love him anyway, and he'll come around one of these days. Good job. It's the chance of a lifetime. Fred Savage in The Wizard. Rated PG parental guidance suggested. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Also, Steven Spielberg and Robert Zemeckis bring you back to the adventure. Back to the magic. Back to the future. So, Dad. You and Mom finished Christmas shopping yet? Yeah. So you're not buying me any more presents? That's what I said. Well, Steven heard that his dad's getting that new Nintendo Nintendo game for Christmas. When you start doing some chores, you can buy it. It doesn't feel better when you buy something with money you earned yourself. Nah, I like it better when people just give me stuff. Well, we need to start doing some work around here. Yeah, mow some lawns, wash some dishes, and give me a neck rub every now and then. But I'm too young to get a job. Well, I didn't say get a job. I said do some chores. I mean, you're not James. You're too stupid to get a job. But Steven heard that his dad's getting that Ninja Turtle game for Christmas. That's nice. Steven's dad said that he can afford to buy his son nice things, and you can't. That's why I never get what I want. Is that so? Well, I mean, that's what he said. What can I do you for? Lance, I was wondering, have you finished your Christmas shopping yet? Yeah, yeah. You want to see what I got, Margo? Dealer said the new one comes in in February. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was uh, just wondering if you got, uh, Steven, that new uh, Ninja Nintendo game, whatever the hell that's called. Oh, yeah. So, Dad, ask Mr. Murphy where he got the game. Love the effort, Dad. Great initiative. Oh, no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, you suck, Dad. It's like WWF with babies. Jesus Christ, Dad. Sheila, I'm fine. I'm just... Just hold it there for about 10 minutes, okay? It'll keep the swelling down. God, I just don't understand why he would just attack you like that. Marco and I go shopping every Tuesday, and she never mentioned Can we just anything. not talk about it? Fine. So, Dad, maybe I could take out the trash, wash the dishes for you. Does this feel God, good? Uh, get off of me. Go to bed, it's late. It's 3 o'clock. It's late in the afternoon. Well, you should have seen Lance. Yeah. Your body slammed him right on the front lawn. I hope his kids saw it. I do. And you know what else? I bet you Margot doesn't say a damn word about it at the next book club. <laughs> All I ever wanted was the Ninja Turtles game, and it's all I ever wanted. That's so bad. Do you want me to check your homework, sweetie? I don't care. I just think you're a little optimistic, honey. No, I just think positive all the time. 
Well, you know what happens when you do that? We have to deal with disappointment. Why don't you tell me more about this Ninja Turtle game? It's badass, Mom! You can play as Leonardo, or Donatello, and then you have to try to return Splinter back to human form. And then there's this Mega Turtle at the end of level 3, and once you defeat him, you have to move on to Shredder. He's in the Technodrome. And then there's this water level where you have to play first and disarm all the bombs, and then April O'Neil's giving you tips. <laughs> There's your milk, boys, and there's some cookies in the kitchen. So, Stephen, how's your father doing? All right, I guess. He has to go to the doctor's next week, and his hip should be healed in no time. That's great. Did you get him anything for Christmas? Yeah, this. It's so people can sign his cast. Oh, it's a wonderful gift idea, Stephen. Would you like me to gift wrap it for you so it doesn't run out of ink? No, thanks. I'm still using it. You all right, Vince? No. It's Christmas Eve and Dad's not here. He's still working, honey, but he'll be home soon, I promise. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I guess I just really want that game. It's playing with my emotions. Santa Claus hasn't come yet. Think positive. Oh. Now you want me to think positive. Okay, Mom. A make-believe fat ass in a red suit's gonna go to Toys R Us and buy me a game. Please, Mom. That must be him right now. What? No way. He's here! Finally! I knew it all! Vince, you better get the cookies ready. Why are you pulling my leg? I'm not messing with you. Holy shit, dude! worried sick. You've been gone for five days now. You won't answer your phone. We just want to know you're safe. Chester said he spotted you at an amusement park. You were acting strange. He was scared to approach you. I, I don't know what's going on with you, honey, but I'm worried. I'm so worried, Jake. I'm not sure how much time I have. Please give us a call.
Benson, I need to see you. Hey, Grandpa. Looking good. This a new robe? I've been trying to call you all week. Oh, I, sorry, I've had some stuff going on, but uh, you, you look better. It's James. He's dead. I just don't understand it, Vince. He had everything. I thought if any of my children were to commit such a sin, it would be you. Thanks, Mom. Your father was an accident, but this... This was premeditated, Vince. I failed as a mother. I've never asked anything from you. But now... I want you to do just one thing. Go see Kate. She can use the help. Maybe just a couple of weeks or so. A month at the most. And my grandson. He can use a positive male role model in his life after this. I remember when your father passed away. You hit your anger in that game. Please do this for me, Vincent. My baby. Hey, it's Vincent. Um, I would have thought Sheila told you I'm coming over. Uh, I guess I'll just wait outside till you get back. No, 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 take your hand off the burglar alarm. It's just your Uncle Vince, remember me? I'm the guy who looks like your dad, remember? <sighs> Sorry I scared you. It must have been creepy, some guy walking around your backyard, huh? Man, you've gotten so big. 
When's the last time I saw you? It must have been, God, three years ago, Thanksgiving at Grandma's house, right? Oh! Oh, you little fucker! Oh, dude, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't, don't cry, don't cry. Your mom's coming home. Uh, here, I'll give you five bucks, okay? Five bucks, good. That'll, that'll keep you happy. No, what do you? Ben, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Ben. Hi, I'm here. I didn't keep you waiting too long. No, it's okay. Mm. Greg and I were just watching cartoons. I realized I had nothing in the fridge and I didn't want you to starve on your first night. Oh, well, you should have told me. I could have picked something up. I normally don't like to leave Greg home alone, but... How's Mom? Uh, she's taking it pretty hard. Yeah. I, she wanted to come over, but I just really don't think it's a good idea if she leaves the bed right now. Um, yeah, I'll give her another call tonight, see how she's doing. Can I get you some coffee? That'd be great. Honey, why don't you go wash up for dinner? You can take beans with you. I really don't know what happened. I mean, everything seems so perfectly fine. He's been making really good money at the farm. Greg had just made the honor roll the day he disappeared. I guess that just leaves me. Oh, it's not your fault, Kate. I mean, you're so beautiful. So, what have you been up to? Have you been working? Uh, yeah, I've been, you know, working here and there. Um, I was thinking of going to Goodwill tomorrow. I heard they're hiring. The Goodwill? Really? Yeah, it's the one on Winchester. It's so close, I just figured, you know, one job is as good as another. I thought James had mentioned you were working on some video game console. Well, it's not really a console. It's more like a, um... Well, here, it's probably better if I show you. So this uses neuron sensors wired directly into an everyday remote control. So by placing this on your head, your auditory and visual levels will be so immersed, your other senses will have no choice but to follow basic commands. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? So you just control my movement with, like a puppet? Uh, in a way, yes. I mean, the technology's been around for years. I'm just researching the remote options. Uh, would you like to try it? Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's totally safe. Alright. I'm in good hands, right? Now you may experience some motion sickness, and not all participants are compatible with the program. Well, well I do believe in fortune telling and hypnotism, so I guess I'm your best subject. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Did you just do that? All I did was press a button. Huh. Let's try something more advanced. I'm going to get you to walk across the entire room by altering your path. Okay. You don't suffer from epilepsy, do you? Not that I know of, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Clear your mind. So weird. Oh, table. Oh, almost like I'm surrounded by an outside force, but oh, it feels pretty natural. Oh, counter. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to feel a little nauseous. Uh, it's totally natural. Uh, let's say you make it all the way towards me, then we'll call it a night, okay? I'm starting to feel. Dizzy. Almost there. <coughs> oh, my. Uh -oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. I'm so uh -oh. sorry. Uh -oh. oh. Oh god. It, it, it's okay. You, you okay? I'm so embarrassed. I normally don't get sick, but. I'm no, so no. Sorry. It, it's my fault. I shouldn't have pushed it. Um, you okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, 
Maybe we should just call it a night. <sighs> okay. Oh. I'll, uh, good night. Oh. Uh, get, 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 oh. um, yeah. um, okay, I'm gonna go to bed and I will talk to you in the morning, okay? Yeah. Ow. Craig, you startled me. Are you going to school later today? Good talk, Greg. I'll see you later, okay, buddy? Hi, hi. Uh, heard you're uh, you're hiring. Manny boy, who are you, man? I'm sorry about your brother. How you doing? I'm okay, man. Yeah? yeah? Shit. Let's go around back to my break time. Smoke. So, are, how are you, buddy? Talk to me. What's going on? I've been okay. You now, I should be at Kate's for at least a few weeks helping her out. Yeah? Sure, it's like not the other way around. I heard you were on unemployment. Uh, well, that dried up too. But, uh, got a gig later at the Goodwill. No shit. Look at you. We're moving on up. Big man swinging his deck. Uh, so you're good with kids, right? I mean, you kind of have to be at work at this place. No, dude, no, no. I hate these motherfuckers. First day I was here, they gave me the mouse suit, and one of these little fucking kids kicked me in the balls in front of some milks. Yeah. And the day after that, like the day after that, another little bastard ripped the tail right up my asshole. And I had to pay for it out of my paycheck, I swear to God, if there weren't cameras everywhere, beat the shit out of one of them. Drown him in the goddamn ball pit. Uh, well, I was just hoping you had some advice, you know? Greg's ready to open up, I can feel it. Hey, you just, you just wanna fuck Kate, right? I don't Jesus, dude. That's your brother's bitch. He's been dead for like a fucking week. I know, I know, I shouldn't even be thinking about it. But winning the kid over will help, right? Yeah, it'll help. Let's do something fun with him. I don't really know what, uh, what he thinks is fun, you know? He's just a dumb fucking kid. One of the stupid shit we did when we were kids? Setting ants on fire? Throwing tapes in the street? They love that shit. All right, well, listen, I should probably be getting back. Uh, the chick that's supposed to train me at the Goodwill today kind of looks like a cartoon character, but I bet I can slay her out. She's checking out my junk and everything. <laughs> my nigga. All right, buddy. Well, hey, while you're here, come by, have dinner with Donna and I. I didn't know you're still with Donna. Yeah, she's a bitch, but you know, once you turn 30, you just get tired of the chase. Because I have my career to think about now. Yeah. I hear you, bro. All right. Hey, listen. Good talking to you. Good talking to you, buddy. Keep your chin up. Things are going to be OK. Ah, fuck my life. Hi, Vince. My name
name is Bethany, and I'm going to be training you today. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Bethany. Listen, you don't have to be embarrassed about earlier today. Your sack was totally rocking, good texture and everything. Uh, excuse me? Oh my god. I am, I am so, I am so sorry. I, I, I have this weird combination of Asperger's and Coprolalia, which is like a form of Tourette's, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. I mean, I do have a nice sack. Uh. Um, let's get started in the back. I think they just finished up sterilizing a box of corduroys. Okay, um, do you have a uniform for me? Uh, yeah, we'll get you one in a couple days. Okay. So when's that Cash for Charity program start? Oh, it started last week. And we collect all the donations from the warehouse. Oh, that's cool. I'd like to help on that. Can we work on that? Maybe later. Uh, you wouldn't believe all the money that comes in from it. And it all goes to a bunch of retards. Such waste. Oh my god, I am, I am so sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, you're just speaking the truth. They are retards. I, I get along great with the disabled. I've had mental illness my whole life, so I'm like, I'm totally at home with them. Sure, we could do that. What's the matter? All right, look, Bethany. I know you think my sack is totally rocking. I know Tourette's doesn't lie. So what do you say we just cut all this bullshit and go out on a date? Just because you were so pathetic, I'll go. Cool, cool. Uh, listen, my shift's almost over, so um, I'm gonna head out, but I'll, uh, I'll check you later, okay? Hole. See this, Greg? Back in my day, this is all we had to watch our cartoons on. You had to rewind them at the end. We had tracking problems. The quality was a complete shit, but we embraced them. Because all we had to tape our Saturday morning programs on and watch them whenever we wanted. That's okay, buddy. Uh, just get a, get a better grip on the club next time. We'll get them next time, okay? I hope they have insurance. Here, we'll try again. All right, dude. All right. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I don't need my chin for anything. Let's, uh... Grab another one. <laughs> oh. oh, um, hey, Vince. Um, this is Jack. He gave me a lift home from work. I thought he could join us for dinner. Nice to meet you. My condolences. Kate told me everything. Uh, Kate, you didn't tell me we were going to have company for dinner. So, like, what's wrong with your car now? You can't drive yourself? Oh, I just had to drop it off some routine maintenance. It'll be done tomorrow. Um, which reminds me, would you be able to give me a lift? Sure. Oh, I, oh, I meant Jack. <laughs> She'll be done about noon, so we could just go at lunch. Not a problem at all. <laughs> so, uh, Kate, I don't know if you noticed, but, uh, Greg and I have been bonding pretty hardcore while you've been at work lately. Well, that's great. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, Vince, would you mind keeping Jack occupied while I get started on dinner? It's a new recipe. I just don't want to mess it up. Uh, yeah. I'll just call you up when it's ready. Hey, bud.
Nice jacket, Jack. Very dashing. Thank you. So what do you do, Vincent? Uh, I'm currently developing a virtual reality system. NASA's looking at my work, too. We're planning to expand. He works with Goodwill. <laughs> Great dog, that was our little secret, buddy. Goodwill, nothing to be ashamed of. I, I remember my first job as a dishwasher. I'm 37, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to go. I just remembered something. What's wrong? Dinner's just about ready. I know, I hate the bail on dinner, but I, I gotta go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll call you later, okay? Bye, Vincent. Goodwill, nice. Get up, dude. Grab the controllers. Where's the N64? What the fuck, dude? Donna's gonna be up at 5 30 in the fucking morning. I don't give a shit. Give me a controller right now. Oh. Tell me what's going on. I like a fucking retard earlier. But you're gonna have a heart attack or something. You see my safe place sometimes, bro. You understand? Mm -hmm. Got you. But talk to me, dude. What's wrong? Just some prick moving in on Kate. Just wanted to drop kick this silly bitch ass. I was just acting all polite and helping her with shit and just walking around all handsome. Fuck him. He's pissing me off. You think he's filling her out? Oh, like a pastry. I guarantee it. This bitch is hungry for the cock, huh? That has been dead for like a week. Yeah, I know, right? It makes me sick. It's okay, though. Got a nice little thought back at the Goodwill I'm working on. I thought you said her pussy was broken. Nah, she's a little busted, but... Hey, it just makes the sleigh that much easier, right? Yeah, buddy. Mm. Oh! Oh! Dude! 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 No, it's gotta go! It's gotta go! Fuck! How is it that we fucking beat this game in like 15 minutes when we're kids, now I can't get past the first fucking level? Simpler times back then, man. We didn't have all these distractions like we do these days. Like these fucking hoe bags and douchebags. Yeah. I hear you. Alright, man. Well, I'm gonna go back to bed. You can hang out here. Just don't scare the shit out of Donna when she gets home. Oh, thanks, man. I'll probably bounce after a few more games. Well, if you get back there and see that guy giving it to your lady, you can come back here, okay? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate the fuck out of that. You got it, man. North Korea's economic pipeline, at least 70% of its total trade runs through China. Without it, the Kim Jong-un regime would likely collapse triggering a refugee crisis on China's doorstep, something Beijing deeply fears. U.S. President Donald Trump says Beijing should use that leverage to force Pyongyang to the increasingly active nuclear weapons program. China has condemned... Oh, hi, Vince. <clears throat> uh, where were you? I was so worried. Yeah, you look real worried. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I was, I was at a friend's house. Jeff, maybe you better go. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I must have done with that. Okay. I'll see you at work. Yeah. Ten second trivia. What animal is responsible for more human deaths than any other shark? Something wrong, Vincent? No, I'm fine. Why do you ask? Are you sure? Something's not wrong? Is it Greg? I know that he can be a little odd at times, but I promise he really does like you. No, Greg, Greg is great. It's just, it's just that Jack guy. What's wrong with Jack? I don't know. He just has this great job and all these cool clothes and he's always helping you with stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, he sounds pretty wretched. He was just air humping the back of your head. <laughs> okay, so he's funny too, apparently. God, grow up, Kate.
think James would find this shit funny? Still ripe in his casket and you're snuggled up with a co-worker. Well, maybe James should have thought twice about that before taking a swan dive off a building and leaving Greg and I with nothing. Okay, let's just be adults about this, okay? This is all just so fucked up. Yeah. Let's be adults. Let's get serious. You know, when James was around, you never used to come and visit. Now you're so eager to help Greg and I. Why is that? Because Mom asked me. Oh, yes? Yeah? Is, is that the only reason I'm... I'm just curious. You know, I was kind of hoping that you would have stayed for dinner. You know, push Greg out, send him to bed, tell Jack to fuck off. You know, and we could really try out that headset. Really? Yeah, I mean, think of the possibilities if we used it in the... I, I, I gotta go. I'll, uh, I'll <laughs> see you in the morning. Good night, Vincent. Super sexual harassment. What's going on with you? You beat the shit out of that guy Jack yet? I don't know. It's getting awkward being at that house, man. She knows I'm trying to slay and the gig is up. It's weird being at that house. What? I can't fucking hear you. Let's go around back. What do you mean she's trying to slay? Dude, she was seducing me. Seducing? And you didn't fuck her? No, man, she was making a fool out of me. I didn't like it one bit. I may have no game, but I know when I'm being played. Like, don't act like I'm fucking stupid, bitch. All right, dude, calm down. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, if I leave now, it looks like that's what I was trying to do the whole time. I'm just gonna act like nothing happened. Hope it all blow over. Right, problem solved. And you got your back up, bitch, if you did well, so what the fuck are you worried about? I just don't like this jack guy muscling in. So you gonna be home tonight? I got a date with the Goodwill hottie. I may need a slam pad. Oh shit! <laughs> Look at you, Don fucking one. Now, I gotta work late, so does Donna. Just clean up after this. If I don't want your snail trails on my bed. Oh, no problem, man. Thanks. I'm serious, dude. Bring a black light, dude. I got it. Kate's working today. I know. I came to talk to you, man to man. All right, we'll talk then. I know you got a little crush on Kate. I don't blame you. She's great. But take it easy, okay? She's been through a lot, not just at home, but at work too. I want to make this an easy transition for her. Yeah, an easy transition of your dick into her vagina. Hey now, is that any way to talk? I worry about you, Vincent. I know you're the slow twin, but still. So what else does Kate tell you? <laughs> Nothing. <Please> move. <laughs> Just cool it, okay? I worry about her and Greg. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have to worry about anything because I have a hot date tonight. <laughs> and any concerns you have of me and Kate hooking up should be squashed, you dickhead. Nice talking to you, Vincent. I'm a very spiritual person. I believe a man's passion is his livelihood. And it's that passion that really represents the essence of his true being. What's your passion? Well, I'm passionate about a lot of things, but I'm not really good at any of them. Hence my existential dilemma. Well, maybe not being good at anything is a talent in and of itself. Everyone has a talent. So maybe it takes no talent to have talent. You are a diamond in the rough, Miss Bethany. 
I like how you can be so philosophical and enjoy a good Chipotle burrito at the same time. I feel life is like a balance. A balance between instant gratification and the finer things in life. Without that balance, we fall right off the wire and into chaos. I feel like you opened my eyes, Vincent. It's like I see the world as a poet now. God, this is a life, isn't it? Beautiful woman by my side, able to maintain an intelligent, thought-provoking conversation. The cold breeze of a warm winter's night on the napes of our necks. I tell you, nothing can ruin this evening. I, I, am, I am so sorry. I just ruined everything. I have irritable bowel syndrome, uh, in addition to everything else. Hey, I mean, IBS, right? It, that's cool. I know a lot of people that have that. So, uh, you just gotta, like, fart a lot and shit a lot? Uh, sort of. Uh, it's really, really frustrating. Like, sometimes I have to wear a diaper underneath my skirt. Bethany, you don't have to be embarrassed. I think that's awesome. I think it's hot. Grab a control, learn. The hell is this shit? Oh, hey Vincent. Greg was getting tired of those vintage games. You don't have to blow into games just to play them, do you, Greg? Did you see your jack at us? Yeah, I saw it, and it's an abomination. You know, Greg and I were really bonding over my own nostalgic memories. Well, he seems to like that better. Oh my god, seriously? Okay. Lunch will be done in 20 minutes, Vince. We're having prosciutto sandwiches. Prosciutto sandwiches. Shut up. Sorry, Benson. Shut up. I'll show you what real gaming's like. You're gonna love this, Greg. It's okay, Jack. What is this supposed to prove, Benson? This is my greatest creation. Totally immersive virtual reality via physical digital control. What have you done with your life, Jack? Besides waste out of fucking office. With just a press of a button, I can make this little man do anything. We're not buying it. <laughs> oh. That's it, Greg Dog. Get him! Get him. Get those kicks in. Whoa. Get his shin, he's got his shin exposed. Get him, drill him. Do you do? It hurts. Grab that pillow. He's got his breast exposed, purple nurple. No, no. Why? Oh, that's my nipple. Noogie. Noogie. Oh. <laughs> Can't make him stop. Oh. Mustard on your prosciutto? Jelly mustard or French's? French's is fine, thank you. Are you okay? You're sweaty. Yeah, I'm fine. I just had a long night. Did Jack spend the night? Um, Greg doesn't think so. I'm gonna get back to the sandwiches. Some milk, too, please.
sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. It's all my fault. You fucking piece of shit. You fucking work. You fucking piece. That boy is nuts. You got more of it? Hey, don't look at me. You started screaming Steve Splinter and threw up in the garbage can. Oh. How come I don't remember anything? I never seen a man hit himself so hard. What's the matter with you? Well, uh, thanks for looking after me. It's Terry. Guess I should be getting back home. Suit yourself, partner. Oh. Here's your wallet back. All right, give me the money back, man. What money? There wasn't shit in there, not even a lousy credit card. Oh. Well, uh, thanks for holding on to it, then. Sure. I got nowhere to go, dude. Hey, pal, it ain't all that bad. It never is. And I've been forced to drink my own piss. You know something, man? Fuck these conglomerates. I can make more money from handouts and unemployment checks than I ever could bust the table. And I get to make my own hours. You are landed a free? This is exactly what Blanchard Scott Key was doing when he coined that shit. Ha! Sweet smell of freedom, does it? So, how do you like the life of a free man? I don't know. I don't really feel free yet. Well, you are, so you best appreciate it. The confines of your corporate cage have been removed for the very first time. The weight of responsibility is no longer a burden to carry. Never set another alarm. Shit wherever you want. Travel the city as you see fit. I don't know, I just still kind of miss some stuff. You know, like showers, toilet paper. Ah, bullshit non-necessities in life. Listen, I've been wiping my ass with used coffee filters for the past five years, and I'm healthy as a horse. You want to know the one thing that ever scared me? Success. You know I used to be a doctor. Bullshit.
Went to med school for eight years. Practiced for ten. Had a wife, son. But I wasn't happy. When you already have everything in life you want, what is there to work for? When you, when you have all the money, all the love, all the possessions and comforts you ever wanted and needed, what do you got to look forward to? Nothing. Life becomes a black, bottomless pit of despair with no end. Hey, when you already got the pot of gold, you don't have to be chasing rainbows. The rainbow didn't excite me anymore, Vincent. Vince? <laughs> what are you doing here, man? What the fuck are you doing here? I've called you for like three weeks. Why haven't you answered your phone? I don't know. The, the battery died and I didn't feel like charging it again. You're... And who's this fucking renegade? I'm Vince's new best friend. Nice to meet you. Get the fuck away from me, dude. I don't know what fucking diseases you have. Is this guy bothering you? Did he abduct you? Do you want me to beat the shit out of him? Hey, you know I've had just about enough of your hostility, young man. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Get the fuck out of before this crazy nut kills us. Dude, you didn't have to do that. Oh. What? Oh. We were just talking and hanging out, man. He's cool. He's cool? Yeah. Hey, dude, I'm... I'm really sorry. Look, I thought you might have been one of those crazy fed fuckers with mental illness. I'm sorry, okay? You want that? Hey. Kimchi. It smells like shit, but it'll get your dick hard. You're a real fucking peach. No hard feelings. Well, I appreciate it. All right, buddy, so like, I know things have been fucked up for you right now, but I can't have you hanging around with hobos and bag ladies under a bridge, not if I can help it. So we gotta figure out a way to get you back on track. Um, so how's the, the job at the Goodwill going? Um, well, I haven't been there for a few weeks and I haven't called in at all. So basically you're fired. Okay. That's all right. Um, how about the uh, the virtual reality thing? Oh, it's it's going okay. I mean, uh, we've got to put it through some more market uh, research and some consumer testing. Vince, come on, buddy. You want to come clean on that one? I have nothing to do with it. it. It's a new product that's out on the market. No one's ever heard about it, so I just tell them I make it. It's all right, man. It's okay. I just had to hear it come from your mouth. We both know that you're too fucking stupid to come up with something brilliant like that. Because accepting that you're a worthless sack of shit is the first step. So where does that leave us? I mean, <clears throat> what, what do you want to do? Um, oh, yeah, well, um, let's try another way. Uh, what is it that you're good at? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Um, it's all right. All right. Let's think about it because you have to be good at something. Um, let's let's think back when we were kids. Okay. Remember when we were kids? Yeah. All right. Let's think about like what fascinated you back then. Well, I like playing outside and um, like getting into trouble. Uh, like watching cartoons. No one's gonna pay you to watch cartoons. Well, I must draw cartoons. You can't draw for shit either. I like video games. Watch develop video game. Well, I meant the old games we used to play, not the new ones. Okay. Hey, hey, well, hey what about like a, like a blog, like a like a video channel where you, you film yourself reviewing like the old games we used to play, like Nintendo? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. I think I can do that. All right. All right, we struck gold, okay, all right.
Well, use the computer and work on it, and then I'm going to go to work, and when I get back, we'll see what you came up with. Okay, sounds good. All right, buddy. Good, <laughs> good stuff. Uh, you know, Donna, I just really want to thank you for your hospitality through all this. I mean, I was such a wreck. Living on the streets really changes your perspective on things. I mean, no food, no shelter. It just really challenges a man to just assess the situation and just be. I have to go to work, too. I don't want to find any porn on the computer when I get back, okay? Jeez, what do you guys take me for? Some kind of animal? These are for you. Thank you. I figured you didn't want to see me since you haven't been to work or called me for the past few weeks. What's wrong with you, you fucking asshole? You go over here and give me dead ass flowers, you callous piece of shit. I am, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay, I totally deserve that. The last couple weeks have been a huge learning experience for me. I'm still confused myself about a lot of things. Well. Oh, you figure yourself out. I'll see you around. Okay. Nice talk, Bethany. I'll catch you later. Uh, got a new place now. New address. I'll text it to you. Dope place. Badass. Okay. Bye. Monster dick. Did you do anything besides jerk off today? Jesus Christ. Mm. Man, this is great. I can get used to this. Well, let's see what you got. In 1989, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exploded onto the arcade scene. A rock'em, sock'em, beat em up with four player action, state of the art graphics, and a plethora of villains that stayed faithful to the television show. One year later, we get the long awaited Nintendo port. And what the fuck is this rancid donkey shit? Snowmen that shoot missiles out of their dicks? Tigers that jump out the fucking walls? Fucking four legged robots and one eyed hunchbacks? Fuck this shit! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it right in its turtle pussy! I wanna blow up foot soldiers and beat the shit out of shrimp! It's very colorful, Benz. I'm glad that you have a lot of passion invested in it. Thanks. The controls are complete garbage! Try walking across the screen without getting gangbanged by foot soldiers! Ah! Fuck! God damn it! Fuck this game! It's oh, funny, huh? I think I found my niche. Yeah, man. Good first day. I think you did find your calling. Did you check back with the Goodwill? See if they take you back by any chance? Yeah, I did, but um, doesn't sound too promising. But I won't know for sure in a while. Now, if you excuse me, I need to review Metroid tonight so I can upload it in the morning. Kids, and he has no money. He's got no town or prospects. I don't know what you want. I don't care. I can't put up with this shit. He sleeps till noon. He plays video games all day. It's like living with a goddamn teenager. He needs to grow up, and you need to grow a pair. You know what? 
Donna, I've known this guy for 30 fucking years. He's my best friend and he's a good guy. Until you start paying rent and contributing a little more around here, I will decide who stays and who goes. Babe, no, I want to pay rent, but this Sally Mae bullshit, it's just fucking- Goddamn glitch has really irked my ass. And I use the word glitch lightly. More like intentional conspiracy malfunctions. Have these dickless game developers ever heard of a password feature? Or is the original intent to have us poor frustrated gamers rip our own balls out through our assholes and throw them at the screen? He's quite the poet. Well, at least he's doing something creative. I'll make sure he starts looking for another place tomorrow. I've already gotten two calls from the neighbors. Metroid? More like hemorrhoid, because that's what you get if you sit long enough to try to beat this impossible fuck of a game! I'm up. I'm up. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm up. I'm up. Yeah. Don and I were talking last night, man, and um, I don't know. I think it's. I think it's about time you start looking for your own place. What? I thought, we're, I thought I was doing a good job with the the video reviews and the blog. Well, dude, I'm really glad that that you like doing that. But I can't have you living here rent free anymore. Well, the the ads will start pulling in money. I mean, we just gotta wait for them to catch fire. But dude, I can't. I can't have you sitting around here waiting for that to happen. I'm sorry, dude. I got a fucking bitch girlfriend who's on my ass about you lying around here all fucking day. I mean, have you uh, have you thought about going back to Kate's maybe? I don't really feel like going back there. Besides, I want him to feel like I don't really need him. Yeah. I get it, dude. Um, all right, man. Um, we'll talk more about this later. I gotta go to work. We'll, we'll talk more about this later, okay? Yeah, I got it, Steve. I'll look for a place on Craigslist tomorrow. Where have you been? I have been worried sick. How'd you find me? I went down to the Goodwill and the girl gave me an address. I've been calling you for weeks. Do you even have your phone? Yeah, I, I have it, but I, don't, I haven't gotten any messages. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, what have you been up to? You know, it's kind of been a busy time for me, uh, with James passing and everything. Uh, just needed some time to get my head together, you know, figure some stuff out. I understand if you need time. I mean, but you could at least let Greg and I know what you've been up to. You just vanished. Oh, how's Greg doing? It's okay. He said he misses you. Really? Look, I've been meaning to make some time to go visit him. Uh, my schedule's pretty busy now, but maybe like on Friday or Saturday I can you know, hang out with them for a little bit. Yeah. I better go. I'm really glad you're okay. Is this your new place now? Yeah. Roommates? Yeah, they're really cool. They let me stay up as late as I want. I got my own pillows, my own blanket. It's nice. It's a pretty dope setup, huh? But, uh... So, um, how you been? Good. Thinking about James, you know, and why he would... Oh, never mind. Um, what are your plans for Christmas this year? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really given it much thought. Well, you should stop by. I mean, it'll just be Greg and I and Jack, but we'd love to have you. Yeah? Okay, um, I'm supposed to spend some time with my girlfriend and my friends that day, but, uh... Girlfriend? Really? And friends? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I've been busy. Well, why don't you bring them? Yeah? Yeah, I mean, there'll be plenty of food, and Jack won't mind the extra company. It'll be fun. Okay, yeah, that, that does sound like fun. I'll bring them.
Okay. I better go. All right. We'll keep your phone charged, okay? Okay. And, um, I'll call you later. So, sounds good. Bye. I was scared shit was bringing you those flowers. I thought you were gonna tear me apart. How'd you go in there for a while, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean the flowers were dead. Fucking dead. I pulled them out of some old lady's garden on my way to the parking lot. I couldn't even afford shitty roses at the grocery store. No worries. Those flowers wouldn't even last the two minutes in the room with me. <laughs> right? Oh. Am I right? Uh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, it smells like Hot Pockets and shit in here. So you want to introduce me to your friend? Oh, this is uh, my little lady, Bethany. Bethany, so nice to finally meet you. Dope place. Thank you. This man, did you, um, did you get a chance to give him a talk back to him? Yeah, yeah, I did some looking, don't worry about that. The fuck are you doing? We're on level nine. I'm very sorry. But if Donna comes home and sees this shit, I'm fucked and you know that. Bethany, it's so nice to meet you, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. It's all good. I totally understand. Um, I'll text you later. That the girl you plowing? Like a rice field. Nice. Yeah. Now before you flip out, I got my job back at the Goodwill, and I've been searching for studio apartments in the neighborhood. You can tell that to Donna before she rips your dick off. Well, I appreciate that. I'm also going to the bank tomorrow to set up a checking account. My first. Look at you. Big man swinging his big dick. <laughs> Gets a taste of pussy and turns into Ruger fucking Murdoch. I like it. Yeah. Well, he can thank Bethany for that. Well, I like her already. Say, uh... What are you and Donna doing for Christmas this year? Nothing. We just usually hang out here. Why do you ask? Hmm. Thanks for coming, guys. Feels like I have a whole new family again. Bethy, if you can, keep the farting to a minimum, at least until you break the ice with Kate first. These are classy people. No problem. I don't want to stay past and I have to get up early in the morning to call my mom. Oh, I know it's been a really stressful day, but could you just not bust my ass for one fucking night and act like you like your miserable life? Yeah, we spent way too much money on these presents. My student will Shh! God damn it. I'm sorry to do it. Awesome. No worries, bro. Nothing can ruin this night for me. I can't wait for you all to meet little Greg Dog. <laughs> so precocious. G unit, my man, give me five. Okay, okay, we'll get you next time. Come on in, guys, make yourselves at home. I like your tie. Hi! I'm so glad you could make it. All right, who's here? Okay, so we got Steven, my best buddy. How's it going? Hi, nice to meet you. This is Donna and his girlfriend. And this is the lovely Miss Bethany. Welcome. Well, come on in, you guys. I really wish I could sit and chat, but I'm pretty swamped in the kitchen. <laughs> Jack was supposed to be here an hour ago, but he's stuck in traffic, so. Looks like Jack ain't good for Jack's shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite the character, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Donna, let me take these. Uh, why don't you two little ladies help Kate in the kitchen, and Stephen and I will keep great company. It's the Tourette's, man. It's unpredictable as fuck, but it's exciting, right? Oh, it's something. I can only imagine what comes out of her mouth in the bedroom. <sighs> Bro. Big dog. How's it hanging, man? Keeping that gameplay strong? I got some games in the car we can play later. Um, would you mind putting these on the plate? Oh, of course. Thanks. Listen. I 
I'm really, really sorry about earlier. Sometimes I just say things and I... It's fine. Really, don't worry about it. I, you know what? Why don't I, um... Why don't I show you guys around the house? Yeah. And don't worry about Jack. I mean, he's... He's really nice. Once you get to know him. How's that piece of shit jackass Jack doing? Dude, you leave this kid alone, he obviously does not want to talk to you. Alright, I'm sorry, Greg. No more questions for tonight. But, uh, now that the parental supervision is gone, how about some WrestleMania action? Boom! Oh, Fifty Young delivers a striking blow! Oh, here comes the body slam! Bam! Oh, and the people's elbow! Boom! Oh, who is this? Big Boss Man wants in on this action, doesn't he? Boom! 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 Get up, Get up the brony! some football or something? Well, I think we should let Greg decide. Greg, what would you rather watch? Football? Or video games? Video games. The Lord Gregory speaketh, and ye shall receive. Dude, go! Run! Are you letting this fucking kid win? Go! I'm trying, bro. The fucking input lag on the TV is killing me. Oh, don't. Get, get, get. Dude, damn it. You have, like, it's like you've never played this fucking game before. Shut the fuck up. Alright, boys. Get in the chat line. Let's go. Let's go. Um, first of all, I just want to thank you for inviting Bethany and my friends and hosting Christmas dinner. That's very sweet of you. It's not a problem, Vincent. They're all really nice. <laughs> Say, listen, I, I wanted to ask you something. Um, you see, I got this video game system for Greg. It's one he's been talking about for a while now, and he's just dying to get it. That's really sweet of you. Sam? Yeah, um, you see, I was thinking I can deliver it in a Santa costume. I got one in the car. Oh, um, are you sure? I just mean everything that happened with your dad. And... Oh, okay, I've moved past that. It, this is something I want to do for Greg. It's something I want, something I need to do. Okay, um, well, if you're sure, typically we do the presents after dinner, so um, maybe while I'm preparing dessert, you could flip away. Oh, that would be perfect. Thank you so much. It's not a problem. Let's go eat. Did you get cold? Dig in, everyone. I just wanted it to get cold. Oh, oh there we go. Thank you. So, Donna, I never what you do? I just graduated from school mm -hmm. and now I'm working at the law firm Low Ball and Lynch downtown. That's 
was exciting. She's an unpaid intern. <laughs> <laughs> So Vince, where have you been the last four weeks? You had Kate and Greg worried sick. I know, that was totally irresponsible of me, but um, I just needed some time to work on myself. You know, I was, I was searching. Searching for what? Pokemon? Jack, knock it off. I, I'm sorry, sweetie. <laughs> the food's great, by the way. Mm. Yes, it is delicious. <laughs> this shit's fucking wonderful. Donna never cooks anything this good. Usually by this time of night, I'm going out for dominoes, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Vince, getting back to where you were last month, what have you been up to? I think we all deserve an answer. Oh, okay. Uh, if you must know, I've been picking up some extra shifts at the Goodwill, and I've been looking at studio apartments in the area. Wow, that sounds really exciting. You uh, pass the green beans in? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what about that that virtual that virtual reality game you, you invented? How's that going? Sweetie, do you really think he invented that thing? That was some Steve Jobs <laughs> level shit. He was lying to you the whole time. Is that true, Vincent? Well, I mean, there's there's like a lot of market research that goes into a an advanced uh, system like that. There's the user interface that needs to be tested. I'll, I'll tell you what happened, honey. And correct me if I'm wrong, Vince. He signed up for some consumer product market bullshit for a few extra bones, and he's been playing with it ever since, like he's some vital part of its creation. When in reality, he's just a faceless drone filling out a test card. I bet he at work has one in his car, and he's an idiot. What's your problem with me? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Are you upset about your new job? How did you know I had a new job? Well, I know you've been demoted recently. I know your salary basically got cut in half. Oh yeah, Kate tells me everything. We have hard hearts. What the hell? He's James's brother. I figured he had a right to know. <clears throat> you know what, I'm getting tired of your shit. I never liked you. I knew from day one what you were up to, you fucking freak. You waltz in here and sweep Greg off his feet with those goddamn video games. Then you just slide right in, right? Fresh new house, fresh new pussy, and then you're on easy street. But you know what? You're not James. Well, I had no idea you were so threatened by me, Jack. But you're right about one thing. I have one over Greg. He hates football. Congratulations, Vince. You may have fooled everyone else here, but you don't fool me. I'm sorry to be so garish after you prepared such a wonderful meal, dear. But you must know the true depravity and deviancy this man possesses deep down within. No offense, but you're just another casualty of war. Get out of the Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look, you made your fucking point, asshole. Turn your fucking phone off. I'm gonna break it. Oh my God! Is that what I did? Oh my God! what the fuck? Go ahead and get dessert started if you guys want to can make your way to the living room. Well, Kate, what about what we talked about? Vince, I really don't think it's appropriate now. Bullshit! Um, uh, 
don't you guys just wait here and I'll, I'll get this already. Greg, do you hear that? Must be Santa. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, Merry Christmas! Oh, shit! <laughs> Deck the halls! Joyous Yuletide! <laughs> Have you been a good little boy this year? Good little boys get rewarded when they take care of their mothers. A retro on five! Oh, yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> events I appreciate this quality time that you're having with this kid, but uh, I've got to go, dude. i got to work in the morning. I've got to go to fucking bed, dude. i got to go. Dude, just five more minutes. Greg Dog's on a roll. up his pretty face. Dude, you fucked that guy up and ran inside like a little bitch. <laughs> You're bleeding. Uh, I'll be fine, babe. You shouldn't mess with me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You broke Jack's nose. He's pissed. Good. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I appreciate everything you've been doing for Greg. I really do, but... Maybe it's just time you keep some distance, you know? Give us some time. It's stupid for me to think you even want me here in the first place. Look, it's been nice having you, but... Yeah, but you're just glad to see me go, right? It's not like that, it's just... All of this shit is way too much for you, okay, Vince? You can't handle this, you just... You need to grow up. Yeah, I need to grow up. Grow up like you, like James, and like Jack, right? You know... I know why James killed himself. I know exactly why. Why? You'll never understand. I just want to ask you one question. Why do you like Jack? He's a fucking asshole. He's not an asshole to me. <laughs> Jesus, Kate. Looks like I'm not the only one that needs to grow up.
have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Ah, oh, no. Don't tell me the man got to you, too. I thought you were the only one who listened to me.